Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class and of course today I'm going to be looking at hair as a mixture. Hair as a mixture. Okay, it's a new topic. Hair as a mixture. Okay, do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jam app. Alright, please like this video. Please make sure you like and before you continue, just click on that like button now. It will not take you anything. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I can see this channel is different from the one we have been posting on okay we had an issue with the former channel so please subscribe to this new channel all right and do not forget to do not forget to keep sharing our videos to your friends and loved ones okay now let us see a question from the app this is 2022 chemistry question number 12 2022 they say which of the following is a mixture which of the following is a mixture a they say hair b oxygen c nitrogen d sulfur okay uh, of course uh, from the topic <laughs> i already know that the question the answer has to be should be heard there okay we'll come back to the question but first of all let us what see what this topic in details all right so the o3 school jump up is all you need to succeed in your exam has all the past questions as all the uh it, it, there's a classroom where they are all let you know that are structured according to the jam syllabus likewise this question search feature where you can search for question according to topics then likewise also have the bomb the utm challenge a challenge that will conduct for students that are writing jam for a particular year every saturday morning by 10 a.m prepare yourself for a mock challenge okay you compete with your mates you win prizes every saturday all right you get used to jump past question gets used to get used to jump likely exam question gets used to how jump set that question and also you want to see your score release every saturday and then you can be able to track your progress of preparation all right all these features are more for just a little token please go to play store immediately download it and start practicing like your life depends on it put your hand in your head and say i know go fee fee jam jam is very easy. I know go fee fee lamp. All right, say now as what a fee jam as well. Okay, you can pass your exam fluently. Just pin your bumble in one place and study. Okay, we are into another new topic here as a mixture. Okay, and we'll see that air, air is a mixture, a mixture of gases. Okay, air is a what a mixture of what of gases. All right, and of course. Since it's a mixture of gases, that means what well, there are so many components that make up what air, all right? So, of course, um, atmospheric air is made up of some components which are going to what, look at right away in this what, class, okay? Number one is what is nitrogen. Nitrogen. Nitrogen uh, contains 78%. Of the composition of hair, seventy-eight percent. Okay, so by composition, the most abundant is what is nitrogen. Okay, by composition, all right, in hair, composition of hair, nitrogen is the most what abundant, seventy-eight percent. All right, so of the total what hair what composition. Okay, now have you ever tried to to put off a candle? Hmm? Maybe you light a candle and then you blow candle. Or maybe during your birthday they did a birthday cake for you. Then apple candles, right? They want to do all in both style. Then you know, then I say blow it up, make a wish, make a wish. Now like this, you know, your eye like who did they swear for? And say, have you tried to blow those candles up before? Or you lit a candle, or you were studying late at night for some scholars. You were studying late at night, and then you then decide to go to to switch off or to, to wanted to go back to bed and then start to, to put off your candle. All right, the reason why that candle will go off, okay, the reason why that candle will go off is because what there are some components of air, some component of air that are incombustible, that are incombustible, incombustible. Okay, the reason why that candle will go off is because well, there are components of what of air that are what incombustible. Incombustible means that they do not what support, they do not support combustion. Okay, Com there are components of air that do not what support what combustion, and that component that do not com support combustion is what is nitrogen. Okay, nitrogen does not support combustion. Okay, it is very, very inactive. Okay, it is inactive, it is what inactive. Okay, and because it is inactive, it is usually used what as a diluent, okay, and to moderate combustion. Okay, it is what used as what as a diluent, diluent, okay, and what used to what to moderate combustion and to moderate and to moderate combustion. Okay, you know what combustion is, right? Burning. Okay, so that is why, of course, if you see your plain tires. 
if you want to pump your, your, your replaying tires, they pump them well with nitrogen, okay? The air they put into those tires are what are nitrogen because once that plane is about to come down, all right, because of the weight and the, the tarmac, okay, the ground is, is going to hit, all right, it may generate what? Sparks, okay? If if the component, if the air, the air inside that tire is what is, is of the combustible type, all right, you say that that plane was rough to catch fire, all right. So it is what to, to moderate what combustion, it is to moderate burning, all right. So nitrogen is what is inactive, and of course, it is used to what to moderate what combustion, all right. So now, likewise, another uh, component of hair we're going to look at is oxygen. Oxygen contains 21% of what? Of the total hair composition. Okay? It contains what 21% of the what total hair composition. But the thing is, have you tried to what to light up a candle? All right. Light up a candle in a room where there's no hair. Where there's no air at all, okay? It is very, it be very difficult for you to see a place where there's no air because air can pass through very tiny, 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 tiny surfaces, okay? So now, but let's say you find yourself in a room where there's no air at all, you cannot breathe, okay? In a situation where you cannot breathe, all right? And the air totally, the air totally is what completely what airless. There's no air there at all. Let's say you find yourself in that kind of situation. If you try to put on a candle, it will not come up. Okay? Because what there's a component of hair that will that support burning, that support what combustion. Okay? That component of hair that support combustion is what? It's oxygen. Oxygen is what? It is very, very active. It is what? Very, what? Active. Okay? And of course, it support processes like combustion. Support processes like what? Combustion. Support processes are what? Like rusting. All right, it supports the processes that were like combustion and uh, rusting. And very importantly, is that it is required for respiration in living things. It is required oxygen. Do you, don't you need oxygen? We do. Okay, required for what? Respiration in what? Living things. It is required for respiration in what? In living things. And um, of course, it is produced, okay, from what? Uh, by. Uh, uh, Photosynthesis, okay, it is pro uh, produced by what by photosynthesis that well by the plants, okay, pro produce what uh, by photosynthesis by what by the plants, okay. So, of course, oxygen is what very, very active, like we said, it's what uh, 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 uh it is what a uh, support process like combustion and rusting, and of course, require for respiration in what in living things, all right. It is very, very active, it supports combustion. You may see a question like this which of the following components of hair support combustion? Okay, so don't know that it's what is oxygen. Okay, which of the following components of hair do not support combustion? Okay, of course, it will be what nitrogen and or what carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide also do not what support combustion or carbon dioxide. We'll get to carbon dioxide now. All right, so now that is what nitrogen. We have seen nitrogen, we have seen oxygen. Okay, let us now see uh, um, uh, noble gases first. Let's see noble gases. All right. Uh, among the noble gases, the most abundant, the most abundant noble gas in the atmosphere is argon. Okay, noble gases. Okay, uh, the most abundant what noble gas in the atmosphere is what is argon. Argon contains about zero point nine percent. Okay, of the what of the total what hair composition, atmospheric hair composition, zero point nine percent. It is the most abundant. Okay, and argon has many 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 uses. Okay, so likewise, let us now see carbon dioxide or carbon four oxide. Carbon four oxide. Okay, this one is what is uh, does not support combustion. Carbon four oxide does not what support what combustion in any way. Okay, and of course, it is mainly produced. Many produced uh, due to what due to respiration in what in plants and what and animals. Okay, so it's mainly produced due to what respiration in what in plants and what and animals. For example, we breathe in oxygen, we what release what carbon carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide. Okay, it is released or it is produced. Okay, during what respiration in both plants and what and animals. All right, so of course carbon dioxide does not what support combustion. It does not. It does not support. Combustion. Carbon dioxide does not support combustion in any way. Okay, and that is why it can be used as a fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Okay, so if a, if somewhere is burning, for example, or like to see what uh uh people bring out bringing bringing out the fire extinguisher. Okay, so 
uh, carbon carbon dioxide is very 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 useful in making fire extinguisher to what to uh, uh, to put off what fires all right so that is what of course another component of here the carbon carbon four oxide all right it is very very minute okay it contains about zero point zero three percent to zero point zero four percent of what total hair composition all right around zero point three or zero point zero four no more than all right and that's 0 0.03 or 0 0.04. Nobody may, will ask you what is the percentage of carbon, carbon dioxide in what in the atmosphere. All right, then the last uh, component we look at is water vapor. Water vapor. Water vapor. Okay, water vapor. Now, we know that during the summer, during the summer, all right, water from oceans and rivers, okay, they evaporate and escape into the air, right? Water from what? From oceans and rivers evaporates, okay? From what? From those oceans and rivers and escape into the air. So that means our water vapor is also what a component of hair, all right? So take note of that, okay? So that is that for that. Then, of course, we have some other what, uh, um, um, soft particles like dust, okay? Dust and what? And other things that are what? Just a component of what? Of hair, all right? But they are very, very what? They are, they are present in very, very, very what? Minute uh, quantities. Okay, so these are the components of hair that we have looked at. Look at nitrogen that contains 78% of total uh, uh, hair composition. Oxygen, 21%. We we'll look at noble gases. Argon, which is the most abundant, having 0.9%. Carbon, 4 oxide, okay, having 0.03%, which does not support or combustion and can be used as fire in We we'll look at water vapor, all right, and of course, we'll look at what dust. All right, so these and some other particles that are all present in the what in the hair uh, in the uh, hair what atmosphere. Okay, so please, we are going to now go to the O3 school jump up and see that question. We define hair as a mixture of gases. So they say a 2022 number 12. They say which of the following is a mixture? A they say hair, B oxygen, C nitrogen. G sulfur. And of course, our correct answer there is what is hair. All right. So there are many other questions on this application. Go to the O3 School Jam app. Go to Play Store and download the O3 School Jam app. Like the video, comment, keep sharing, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.